Welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. My name is Enrique Garcia, and I'm a senior simulation specialist here at Go Engineer. In this quick tips video, we will take a look at this particular simulation error and show how to work around it. This tip applies to our FEA product SolRx simulation specifically. It is not a bug in the traditional sense, but a limitation in the way restraints are defined. Before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Working with many simulation analysts over the years, I would get questions regarding a confusing error message that can come up when working with cyclic symmetry on turn geometry. The message reads, source projection at cyclic symmetry, pair cyclic symmetry 1 or whatever cyclic symmetry feature that has the issue is not fully enclosed within the target. Here we have an example simulation study that will trigger this type of error message. To save on calculation time and resources, it's a popular approach to run your simulation study on a section of your original model. Here we removed everything except for a 30 degree portion of the original geometry. I'll expand the fixtures folder and edit one of the cyclic symmetry features. We can see here that I have chosen the cyclic symmetry advanced fixtures type and for the selection boxes, I've chosen the opposite sides that make up the slice of the remaining geometry. We've also added another cyclic symmetry fixture. This will address the corresponding faces of the nut geometry. Lastly, we have set up other constraints and loads to finish setting up the study to generate some stress results throughout the geometry. Now let me run this particular study at this time. We will get the featured cyclic symmetry error message. After doing some investigation, I found out that this message is caused because the reference faces used in the cyclic symmetry fixtures are not perfectly identical due to the threads. If we go back to the model tab and look more closely at the full model, the threads created by the thread feature have legitimately cut in the actual threads causing this turn geometry to not be perfectly symmetrical. If you have investigated the geometry on your own model and find that the faces chosen on the cyclic symmetry fixture are indeed perfectly symmetrical, then there's a chance that the error message has come up because you've defined the mesh for those faces too coarsely. If that's the case, use a mesh control and refine the reference faces locally, then try running the study again. In my case, to work around this limitation with the cyclic symmetry fixture, I have created a sketch of one of the sides of the fastener and revolved that shape 360 degrees to represent the fastener and its threads. I then cut a 30 degree turn section of the geometry. And I set up the simulation study with the cyclic symmetry fixtures once again. If you find that the geometry cannot have identical cross-sectional faces with the geometry that you're working with, then you may need to cut a larger revolved portion of your turned part or consider using the full model instead. Another approach that you can consider is using 2D simplification. However, you will have to make some important assumptions as this tool also assumes the revolved geometry is consistent in its profile along the entire revolved geometry. In the case of analyzing the threads on this fastener, a 2D simplification study can be acceptable. This has been Enrique Garcia with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this quick tips video helpful. If you did, please subscribe and leave us a comment below if you have a topic that you'd like us to cover in a future video. Visit our website at goengineer.com for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more from your number one online technical resource. Thanks for stopping by. See you on the next one.